Wiscombe Park in Devon, where endurance fans gather for the Aston Martin Speed Hill Climb. Waiting for action in his certes, Richard Jones. Here to open the hill event is Sterling Moss, Aston Martin's number one driver in the 50s, reunited with the car he drove at Le Mans 23 years ago, a 1954 2000 922cc DB3S, whatever that means. Sterling still popular with the fans. The new Aston Martin is a picture of concealed power. Sterling Sealyham agrees. This sleek beauty is the V8 Vantage, and its owners claim it's the fastest accelerating production car in the world. From a standing start, the Vantage reaches a ton in 12.7 seconds. Top speed, 170 miles an hour. A two-door aluminium model with a 5.4-litre engine, it's a car in which Sterling feels right at home, as he pilots it along the hill climb road. Gathering for the fray, that's a Malak U2 of 1973. Richard Pilkington's Aston Martin. This is a rare chance for power car fans to see the best there are. Clive Cotterman, a DB4, and a McLaren. This isn't a race, though speed is the object. Speed and performance. Michael McDowell and a Rolt RT1. David Way's Ensign. A Modus M4 driven by Ken McMaster. Martin Griffith's March 74P finishes the course. It's been a marvellous day for sports car buffs. If they've come to admire, well, they've come to envy a little too. Headquarters in Brussels of the Western Military Shield, the North Atlantic...